on you, fatty. You've gained a lot of weight, dude. Holy smokes. What, man? What are you doing in there? I'm not driving. You want to go driving in the side-by-side? Well, dude, we got to do a little video for all the people right now. Can you wait a little bit? No, see flowers. <laughs> yeah, I see them flowers. Bubba, Bubba is always excited to go for a ride in the side by side. I've been wanting to ask y'all. Let me have the key, Bubba. If you guys are interested in more side by side videos, you got to let me know down below in the comments section. If you guys want to see us get down on this bad boy, you never know what might happen in there. Let us know down below and I will bring you videos because I love the side by side. I just don't know how much you guys love it. But before we get started today, I want to apologize to you guys because my voice is completely gone. As you can hear, it is just gone. It's horrible. It's toast. Been sick for the last few days, so bear with me. <laughs> he ready to go. He says, come on. <laughs> he says, Frederick, get in the back and let's go. So not only do I need your guys' opinion if we need to take this bad boy out in the mud and the water and the flood waters, but I have never named it. You guys have to drop a comment right now and name this bad boy. What should we name it? Whoever comes up with the best name for this bad boy, I will send you a duck's hat. But honestly, whoever names it, we're gonna get the name put up right here or maybe right here. Basically, I'll get a sticker made for this bad boy. Boy, howdy, it is getting hot out here. We went to Florida, I came back to this. The pool was perfect before I left. But all the rain and all the humidity that we got when we were gone, uh, yeah. So I'm working on that as we speak. But let's get into why y'all are here. I've had a ton of you say, Bobby, you gotta show us all of your guns. And I don't think I've ever done that. I've never showed you guys all my guns in one video. So that's what this video is about. Hopefully it doesn't get demonetized too badly. I mean, we're not even firing a gun, but we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through all my guns and I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on them, what they are, of course, what I use them for primarily, and why I have them, kind of when I got them and why. I do have two guns that you guys have never seen. So you're gonna wanna stick around for those guns because they're actually pretty special to me. But to start out, y'all know the game. We better start out with the old Franke. The Franke is the heartbeat of this YouTube channel. I have had it going on, I think, three seasons. And let me tell you what, it is a beautiful weapon of choice in the field. It's very slim. I'm a big slim gun kind of guy. But I don't have to go into much about the Franke. You guys already know everything about it pretty much. Oh, so we will go ahead and set that boy aside and we're gonna move on to the next one here. Probably not gonna go in the order of importance or anything, but this is the 410 Mossberg 500 410 pump. Uh, one of my more recent purchases. And a lot of you guys know why I got this gun. This gun is fun for dove, for, uh, for pigeon, for starlings, for clay shooting in general. This, this pump action gun, which y'all know if you've been watching the channel, I'm not the best with pump. Because I've relied on the old semi-auto Franke for so many years, I've actually had to kind of reteach myself to remember to chamber a shell every time. So it's really been another learning curve in the name of shooting. But shotgun shooting, y'all, if you haven't got the hint yet, it is my passion. So we'll set her aside. That one's not too important to me, but I love the gun. So moving on, this gun right here was actually one of the biggest talked about things on the channel this last duck hunting season. And why I say that is a lot of you were really curious about this gun. And uh, it is actually the Rite, the Rite Masse Mara. And uh, the story on this gun, why I even have this gun is Rite uh, got a hold of me the beginning of last season. They said, Bobby, can we send you a gun for you to try out? And I said, sure. So they sent it to me and I tried it. And uh, there, was, there is a ton about this gun that I like. like. Everything in general about this gun is nice. It's super light. It kicks a little hard. But other than that, this gun has been a great gun. Uh, the main question on the channel about this gun was, Bobby, why aren't you shooting it? We've noticed you've went back to your Franke. And I've told you guys 
time and time again, guys. You can only be a good shooter. You can only get better with shooting by learning one gun at a time. You got to get that muscle memory built into one gun. A lot of you know what I mean, but when you get muscle memory built into a gun and you're just used to it, you know, it doesn't feel different, nothing feels alien or new to you, you quickly can better your shooting skills, let me tell you. But I will be using the Rite more this year to come. Uh, let's hope the Franke holds up. As long as that Franke uh, holds up, uh, I probably, I'm not going to switch anytime soon. And believe me, I'm not affiliated with Franke. I just love the gun. I do, though, want to try the Beretta A400. I have heard awesome, awesome things on that gun. So if you guys know anything about the A400 and if that might or should be my next gun, maybe, let me know down below. But moving on to my next gun here, uh, this is really one of my only pistols that I own. I got a Glock 19 recently. I purchased it with my Pump 410. I purchased it at the same time. And uh, let me tell you what. It's a pistol that I've wanted for a long time. Uh, I'm really not a pistol guy, but I wanted one pistol that I could rely on that would last me a lifetime. And this is probably it. Let's just put it this way, I'm not really into pistols near as much as I am shotguns. Set that bad boy aside. Next, again guys, my voice is gone. Oh, next on the list. Oh, I love this gun. I haven't even got to use this gun to its potential yet. I've been slacking. I actually messed up and I jammed the old gauntlet. The old Umarex gauntlet I have already messed up. Um, yeah, long story short, I have jammed two pellets in the chamber, and it's a compressed air pellet gun. So right now it's sitting at 2,000 PSI, and I've tried to unjam it, and I don't want to break it, and it's kind of dangerous with it still charged. So if you guys know anything, how if you guys have ever been down this road before, and you know how I can unjam this gun, I can't just stick something in the in the in the barrel and push it out. I've tried. And I think there's more in there than just, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could tear it up pretty easily. So I'm going to actually get a hold of Umarex and see if they can help me out on fixing this bad boy. But one of the most requested guns on the channel, I actually got it pretty recently as well. You guys, I'm, you guys still got to stick around because this gun, we're going to make some amazing content with this gun. And I can't wait. But Bobby had to be a dip and go mess it up for everybody already. Eee. Can't have anything nice around here. All right, now this gun you guys have seen before. You haven't seen it a lot, but we have put it in action on some pigeon hunts and a couple dove hunts last season, which y'all, I can't wait for the dove hunting to start up. I'm serious, I'm biting at the bit. Doves are starting to show up everywhere. Seeing, seeing morning doves literally everywhere. I'm drooling out here, but this is my bolt action single shot 410 this is a Stevens model 410 and let me tell you it is one of the most used guns that I have personally used and had the longest uh, I've had this gun since I was probably I was actually 10 when I got this gun so I love it I'm extra comfortable with it um, it is a bolt action, so trying to chamber another shell to get two shots off on, let's say, one dove is hard, but we did make it happen last year. If you guys haven't watched that uh, 410 dove hunt from last season, you need to go back and watch it. I'll actually try to link it at the end of the video. Six down. All right, all right. Now we're getting into the juicy stuff, y'all. This gun is what started the YouTube channel. This is what made the YouTube channel uh, popular, you know, with me wearing a GoPro on my head and doing basically the POV uh, first person shooter. The old TriStar. <laughs> yeah, she's not in good shape much anymore, and a lot of you know why. Uh, if you guys haven't watched these videos, if you're new to the channel, basically we do shotgun, basically like Mythbuster videos, and this gun, I'm telling you, it became a just, it got used. <laughs> It got used and obviously abused, but it was all in the name of safety. So, if you guys haven't checked those videos out, you need to. But the old TriStar Ducks Unlimited uh, model, 
Uh, it actually came from a Ducks Unlimited event. It was probably an auction gun, and I picked it up used. Uh, right at probably eight years ago. Yeah, probably eight years ago. I used it on the first season of the channel, the first duck season, and it did great. Um, I finally got a choke in it. Probably two months after owning it, I put an improved mod extended in there. And let me tell you, it was like the light just turned on to me and my shooting changed. This is the gun, guys. I don't claim to be the best shooter in the world, but I do know I can shoot decently. This is the gun that taught me how to shoot good. This is where I taught myself how to shoot good. And honestly, guys, I'm an advocate. If, if you want to improve your shooting, guys, if you haven't, you need to try out a semi-auto gun. It doesn't make you a pansy. It doesn't make you a wussy. Just let me tell you, when you're pumping and pumping, trying to get three shots out, getting lined up on the next bird when you're pumping is not near as easy as just squeezing the trigger. So, little backstory on the TriStar. Very cheap gun. That's why we used it how we did. So, that has freedom written all over it, let me tell you what. Can I get an amen for the TriStar? Alrighty, moving right along. This is a gun that I've showed you guys one time. We've never even fired this gun. This is my Marlin Papoose. Yes, my voice cracked bad because I don't have a voice any longer. Marlin Papoose. Marlin Papoose. A lot of you have heard of these, and there's a lot of you that have not heard of a Marlin Papoose. This is a very old gun. This was actually handed down from my grandfather. Ah, no! That was close. Luckily, they're not loaded, right? It's just a TriStar, guys. We, don't gotta, we really don't have to worry about it. She's not going to get damaged any more than she is. The Marlin Papoose was actually handed down from my grandfather to my stepdad, and then my stepfather handed it down to me. Which makes this gun extra, extra, extra special to me. Um, same with my 410. It was handed down to me as well through the hands of the family. So I've got a few guns that are extremely special to me. And look at that little guy. Isn't that cool? I'm, we're taking this out. Squirrel season opens June 1st, I believe, here in my home area. And you know what we're going to be doing. But I believe I got this gun when I was probably 11 years old, I would say. And uh, I've shot a few rabbits with it back in the day, but man, it's been a lot of years. So that is the Marlin Papoose 22. Very, very, very small rifle. I love it. We're going to be using it on the channel more. Guys, let me know if you guys want to see it more. Maybe we'll just take it shooting first before squirrel season even opens up. Eight down. We actually got two left. Yep, Bobby only has ten guns. Not very much, right? I actually want a lot more, but we got to get there. All right, so this gun you have not seen. I have not shown this gun on the channel. I have not shot this gun on the channel at all. And you guys have actually been requesting a lot of 20 gauge videos. And yes, sir, that's right. I have a Mossberg 20 gauge pump, baby. This, uh, this gun, uh, this is really what put me on the map as far as hunting. This was the first gun that I took uh, quail hunting and actually shot birds with. You know what I mean? Boy, my throat. Let me tell you what. Ah, nectar. But the 20 gauge pump Mossberg, I'm telling you what, this gun I've had forever. I've probably legitimately only cleaned this gun oh, probably three times, to be honest. In the amount of years that I've had the gun, I haven't used it a ton in a long time. But you guys have been requesting, hey, you need to go shoot some starlings with the 20 gauge. You need to go shoot some pigeons with the 20 gauge. So again, if you guys want to see them videos with this bad boy, let me know down below. This is basically, for the last eight to 10 years, this gun has sit in the closet and has been essentially my wife's home defense weapon. It's, it's the shotgun that she knows where it's at, she knows how to load it, and she knows how to shoot it. So um, that's kind of why I probably haven't used it very much is I don't want to move it. If I move it and maybe something happens and it's not in the spot where she knows it's at, you catch my drift. So. If you guys want to see some hunts with that, which 
we're just going to do them anyways, even if you don't want to see them. All right, one more. Now this gun, I saved it for the last gun to be shown because it's probably the one gun that 90% of you watching right now probably have or had. Look at that. The old Crossman BB gun. That's right. Now this gun, I remember, if you remember right, you pull that up. Look, oh, we got BBs in there still. Sorry, not Crossman. A Marksman Repeater. So, 4.5 BB caliber, 1.77 caliber. Uh, but yeah, this is how you load it. You actually pull that up and you can, it actually came with darts. Uh, I remember when I got this, you can use pellets, you can use BBs, and you can use darts. It actually came with feathered darts. And I don't know if they still do because the last time I went and bought a little BB gun like this has been a long time. But uh, I used to uh, sit in the backyard when I was a little boy, probably seven, eight years old. And this is what I originally learned to shoot on this platform right here just something simple I'd set some cans up you know 10 foot away I'd lay prone and blink 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 so this is kind of the gun that started it all you know for the for for me and and then kind of where we are today with the YouTube channel Woo! I had to come in the shade here but again guys uh, this little gun is important to me it's probably worth absolutely nothing anymore and it probably originally cost literally almost nothing but it's important because this is the gun that got me interested in in gun safety and gun shooting and target practice and then hunting and it's obviously just progressed from there you know but if you guys ever had this when you were a kid or maybe you still have it who knows drop a comment down below and and let's start a little conversation down there i think it's pretty interesting uh actually this says it was made in huntington beach california U.S. of A. Freedom written all over that bad boy. But if you guys like this video and you like this little bad boy right here, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. And before we go any farther, I have to tell you guys, hit that notification bell. I'm going to be uploading more and more and more and more and more. I've been busy. The whole family went on vacation and whatnot. So your boy is getting back on the grind, going to be getting stuff done, and going to be bringing saucy, saucy content to each and every one of y'all. So you always got to let me know what you guys want to see. I always appreciate it when you guys are like, Bob, show us all your guns. That would be really interesting. And then another person, then another person requests the same video. And then I'm like, all right, we better do that video. They want to see it. They have spoken. Sorry for my voice being blah, but... You know, I'm doing my best to get over it. The nectar's helping, let me tell you. But again, thank y'all for being here. We will see you on the next one. Peace.